you guys. So it's a month since I had surgery. Um, every bit of pain is gone. They feel great. The shape and stuff was really, it's just really starting to come into itself. So I'm absolutely delighted. Um, the response that I've gotten from all of you that have been watching these and following the diaries has just been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm delighted that a lot of you have actually decided to go with the Evoca now and have the procedure done. So I'm glad that I could provide you with some guidance. Um, loads of you have still been sending me in questions. So this is my last video blog and hopefully I can give you a bit of an insight into what I'm doing. So a few of you had asked what my scars looked like. Um, my scars are just underneath the boob and they are perfect. I have all my bandages, plasters, everything off now and literally my scar is like that size. Like it's tiny and it's right underneath so you can't even see it. So I'm delighted with that. The last time when I did it, I didn't know what size I was. Um, so last week I put on a bra and it was actually a double D but I had another bra on from another store and it was a D. So I, I think it could just kind of varies like that. Sometimes they can end up being a little bit bigger, but I think it's cause mine are still swollen. And normally people, like people that have had their boobs done have said to me that it normally takes anything up to six months before it actually is completely all gone. So don't get a fright and be like, oh my God, they're bigger or whatever. Um, I'm delighted with the size of mine and I can't wait to go bra shopping. Now that I have, I've come on so far, I'm because it's four weeks in now. I'm kind of at that limbo stage, so I can start. I can do loads of things again, but then again, I have loads of restrictions. Like I can lift my arms up properly, do my hair and everything. But as far as exercise goes, they say that after four weeks you can start doing light exercising. Light exercises I have, and um, I've just kind of been doing like leg work and, and stomach and just going for walks and everything. I can't jog yet. I I personally just don't feel comfortable. Um, but I was at dancing the other night uh, and I found I couldn't really do the warm up or anything and um, which is kind of annoying because I we're learning a new routine I'm doing um, ch I'm doing Strictly Come Dancing for Child Line so I had to be there and I had to try but I found halfway through you know I'd, I'd be like stopping myself and I couldn't put my arms up fast so but they I'd say in about a week I'd be I'll be back in flying form one thing that I have found is so funny is people's reactions like when I go into work or any of the other places that I like I used to go or like any of my friends like everybody looks at me and they go how are you doing and like I'm like my face is up here so that's been funny one thing that loads of people have said is like oh my god like I thought you were gonna go huge and you know if I'm wearing like a tight t-shirt because mine are actually quite compact and they because I picked so well they they really do suit my body shape and that was with the advice of JP in the Avoca so I'm delighted that I did that um, I've no regrets really I already feel a boo greedy I'm like I want to go bigger but um, no regrets except let me think all the gorgeous underwear that I have I have to throw out but then again I'm super excited now because I get to go shopping get all my new stuff and um, so that's it really I've had nothing but positive feedback and um, from all of you watching and from all my family and friends and especially from all the staff in the Avoca they think they're gorgeous so I'm just really delighted with everything that's happened to them the aftercare in the Avoca has just been absolutely fantastic. Um, there's 24 hour phone lines, you can literally ring, even for the smallest thing you can ring and there's always gonna be somebody there. And I found that made me feel a lot better because in the middle of the night you might roll over and you might feel something and if you get a fright you know you can just give them a call straight away I've been in there um, three times now and the staff are always so lovely to me when I go in it's just just a relaxing environment basically and you know there's always going to be somebody there to, in case you're panicked or worried or anything and I just want to take this time now to say thank you so much to the Evoca for making all this happen um, I'm so so happy it really is a life changing thing so I really really am so appreciative of it and thank you all so much for watching all the blogs if you have any questions still don't forget you can get me on facebook twitter anything and that's really it thanks for watching my journey and i hope you all enjoyed it